What's going on everyone, it's me Dot Digital, and today we're going to be talking about how to make a garden. Now, they have made this process extremely easy in Arc Ascended, which honestly is definitely better for new players, and it's just a, you know, quality of life for everyone who's been playing. So, uh, I'm not going to waste any time, let's just get straight into it, right? So, the first thing that you need for the garden is irrigation. Now, again, like I said, Arc Ascended has made this incredibly easy, so before... You'd have to set up these big pipe arrays and, you know, you'd have to get them all lined up perfectly to get, you know, all your crops irrigated. And now, you put down an intake and uh, that's it. And if I go ahead and show, oops, let me just set that there, okay. And if you go ahead and show the range, and there you are. As you can see, it's base, it's essentially wireless water. Um, I don't know what technology the art gods have, you know, found out to do that but it worked um and it's honestly really nice so as you can see anywhere within this area there is water irrigation now i do have a water tank in my inventory there it is and if you use a water tank within this area right here you can extend this range even further as you can see and then you can just keep going with more irrigation tanks and uh you can basically continue that circuit of water. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna disable the um, range real quick. And then we're gonna go ahead and show you guys how to actually get crops growing. Now, when you're out there harvesting, see, uh, you know, plants, you may notice that you actually get some seeds in your inventory. It's probably not gonna do it this time because I'm trying to show it off. Okay, I got some seeds, I think. Oh yeah, Me Megan Berry seed. All right. So we're just gonna go ahead and use an actual useful seed. So we're gonna use Narco Berry. And there are two things you need. So you need to use a seed, and you need to use some for uh, some form of fertilizer. So that can just be feces, or it can be um, just you know fertilizer. So you're gonna go in here. You're going to deposit the feces and the seed, and as you can see, it is fully irrigated in this little menu at the bottom here, and it is, and it has 7,500 fertilizer. Now, it uses fertilizer to grow. As you can see, I put this one down approximately like 10 minutes ago, and it's used about 1,000 fertilizer. So, you do need a, a decent amount of fertilizer. I wouldn't only put one in there, but yeah, um, so there you are. And the reason why we have the greenhouse structure around this is to get this greenhouse effect out of it. If you can look at the bottom there, it says greenhouse effect 180. And that's what you want. So I can go ahead and show you guys how to make a simple greenhouse structure real quick. And it's on, it's very, very simple. So you just need some sort of foundations. And then all you need to do is let me change this back over to a wall. And all you need to do is just go around the structure and just surround the whole thing with greenhouse. Uh, any sort of greenhouse structure will do. And then you go ahead, put your crop plot down. You can look at your crop plot and it'll say, once it updates, it takes a little bit sometimes. There you go, greenhouse effect. For some reason, this one says 300% and the other one only says 180. I'm not quite sure what's going on with that. Now it says 300%. All right, that's good. All right. So you need to get the 300% greenhouse effect, get the maximum speed. And like I said, we already have the pipe down, so this is connected. So if we take a look again, everything's irrigated. And like I showed you over there, all you need to do is throw a seed and some fertilizer. Now that you have the basics down of actually gardening, uh, let me show you some more advanced stuff, which it's not really advanced, but some utilities to make gardening even better. So the first thing you're gonna need is a Fiomia. Now the Fiomia is amazing because it will just generate massive amounts of feces for you to use to fertilize all your crops. Now, if you wanna go even further with this, you can refine that feces into fertilizer. Um, just like proper fertilizer in the dung beetle's inventory. And the dung beetle will 
give you basically it'll take one item slot like the feces but give way more um you know actual fertilizer which is really good it'll it'll make it so you can afk a lot more you can leave your base unattended for a little bit longer than you would with just feces and another unique feature that they've added to specifically let me take some of these out here so I can go ahead and show it off um to specifically arc ascended they've actually added basically a way for you to have automated species gathering so as you can see the dung beetle is doing a little animation there and if we go in his inventory it's completely full now which is super nice now the fuel meal will automatically produce species as all dinos do but if you do want to speed up the process you can go ahead and throw in some stim berries hold e and there you go chocolate rain um <laughs> and then the dung beetle will go ahead and just pick everything up and it makes your life super easy now for me i'd suggest leveling this in weight just so it can hold more you know than you know a couple of pieces but yeah i hope that covers it um honestly i just wanted to make a short quick video on how to make greenhouses and some of the utilities that would come along with it now there's other things you could do for a garden you could make cooking pots you could put um bees as well to get honey in there's there's more options to add to the greenhouse but for specifically growing crops um i think i've covered everything pretty well so if you guys enjoyed the video um It'd be awesome if you could subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.